because uh, I kept reading articles all down through the years, going way back to the 1910 and whatnot, uh, looking at old newspapers and whatnot, headlines, talking about police brutality. And I'm saying, but I call law enforcement, call police. You know, uh, that do I have a problem with police? I mean, there are police everywhere, some type of police. Sometimes, some places, police don't carry guns, but they are called police. You know, the word police comes from politic. It deals with people uh, being polite. That comes from police. Police are polite. That's what they're supposed to be. But now a race soldier is a person who practices racism, but they will put on any kind of uniform or any kind of front because they are deceptive in order to impress you that they are something other than what they are. So a lot of white supremacists go under the label of police so that when they do something they shouldn't do, you say, well, the police did this, the police did that, the police came here and tore up my house, and all like that. Well, now, if that person is a white supremacist, a white supremacist doesn't have a label other than white supremacist. And are uh, when they are armed and in uniform like that, they are race soldiers. That's how I invented that term. So I say, oh, that's a suspected race soldier that tore up my living room looking for drugs, all right, under false pretenses. That's a suspected race soldier. I can't even call him a race soldier because that's name calling. But I'll say he's suspected. Suspected by whom? He or she. Suspected by me. Because the way they went about doing it, they acted the same way that the white supremacists would act. And a white supremacist would put on any kind of uniform, a soldier's uniform, you know, of any kind, of, of any so-called nation. All right, they'll put on a doctor's uniform. They'll put on anything, a teacher's uniform. They'll uh, act like they're a, a member of a religious group, uh, Christianity, uh, Judaism. Hinduism, uh, isms that you never heard of, uh, Islam, a white supremacist will pretend to be anything. And they will definitely pretend to be a police officer, a person who is a, a political arm, a, a arm of the polit a political, a political establishment with the correct intentions, protecting and serving, all right? in a constructive manner. That's what a police officer is. So you don't want to get police officers mixed up with race soldiers. That's two different breeds all together. But a race soldier, definitely, since they are licensed to carry a gun and kill people, they definitely want to get in that type of uniform and go around pretending that they are police officers when really they are race soldiers. They're carrying out the mission of racism. Because the only purpose for even being a member of a race is to practice racism. And what is racism? Racism is mistreating people on the basis of color and or non-color. That's all it is. It's not good for anything else. That's why in the code it says black people should never say that they're members of a race. We're forced to say that we're members of a race, but under oath, if you're asked to give your opinion of your status you'll, and say what's on your mind, you should say in order for the record to be straight, I'm not a member of a race. I don't ever intend to be a member of a race because being a member of a race means you're going to practice racism. And racism means mistreating people on the basis of color and or non-color. Yes, sir. And I don't intend to do that. But the white supremacists have forced me to say that I'm a member of a race. I've never been a member of a race, if I tell the truth. Okay. But they've made me that, and they made me say that. Why? Because it's to their advantage.